this is Nuki. We're very excited to guide you through today's Earth Mandala's Vinyasa sequence. So for those of you new to the Mandala practice, essentially it's like a Vinyasa flow, except we're moving in a circular motion around the mat. So I hope you enjoy this earthly practice where we're going to be targeting our hamstrings and so moving a lot into this area right here. Let's come and meet on the mat, everyone. Find yourself in a comfortable seated position and start to tune in to that natural breath in through the nose, out through the nose. If thoughts start to drift into the mind, don't worry, just let them come like passing clouds. And just gently draw the awareness back to your breath. We will now take a moment to carve out an intention or the practice of Sankalpa as you join the hands to the center of heart. We take a moment to offer our practice towards something bigger than just for oneself. Releasing the hands, let's simply extend the legs forwards everyone. Coming into Paschimottanasana now, so release your hands down to the knees, the shins, or maybe you can take your two piece fingers and wrap them around your big toe to start to get used to the idea of working with your breath. So your inhale allows you to lengthen and the exhale breath is the breath that allows you to push and go a little deeper. Remember in our vinyasa flow, we're tying movement with breath. So your breathing is going to be such a fundamental aspect of the practice today. Good. One more breath here, and then we're going to lift up and make your way into Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. You can pedal out the feet to do what you need to do just to wake those hamstrings. Remember in today's earthly practice we are paying homage to our hamstrings and so really start to pay attention to this part of the body. Maybe it feels more loose today. For some of us, it may feel a little tight. Let's bend the knees and gently make your way to the front of the mat. Grab hold of both your elbows and sway the torso from right to left. Releasing the hands down, uncurl your spine, stacking each vertebra one on top of the other. Bring the feet to touch and hands to the heart. Let's have a beautiful time, everyone. Inhale, arms out to the side. Exhale to the heart. Let's sweep the arms up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, folding forwards to Uttanasana. Bend the knees if you need to. Place the hands down. We're going to lift the left leg up for standing splits. Lower the back knee down. Come straight into warrior two. Straighten the right leg. Reach forwards and lower the right hand down. Trikonasana triangle pose. Come back into warrior two. Straighten the front leg. Pivot out to the sides. Hands onto the hips and fold the head down to the mat. Make sure your feet are pigeon-toed, everyone. Good. Lift back up. And this time, slide your hands down to the calves or maybe you grab hold of the heels. Prasarita Padottanasana. Lifting back up. We're going to face the back of the mat now. Step straight into downward facing dog. Turn your left heel in and reach the right leg up to the sky, 180 degrees. Option one, lift the left hand off the floor, 
at the middle of the mat. And option two, grab hold of the heel of your standing leg. Keep drawing that left heel down to the earth. Make sure it's connected and flat if possible. Release the left hand down and step the right foot to your back in down dog. Let's step that right foot forwards and come into warrior two. Straighten the front leg, reach forwards, trikonasana, triangle, send the gaze up. Now bend into the right knee back to warrior two. Straighten the front leg, turn the foot inwards so you're facing the sides and fold the head down to the earth. Lift back up on the inhale. And then reach your hands down to the calves or maybe the heels. Prasarita Padottanasana. Lifting back up. Face the front of the mat. Step it back to down dog. If you want to move through a vinyasa, go right ahead, everyone. But again, remember, we're trying to pay homage to our hamstrings. So just focus as much as you can on lengthening this part of the body. Beautiful work. Let's bend the knees. Let's make your way to the front of the mat. Lift your chest and fold to Uttanasana. Arms up, Urvahastasana. Panamasana, hands to the heart. Breathing in and out. Arms out to the side, inhale and draw it back to the heart. Reaching up. Urvahastasana, let's fold all the way down, plant the hands to the earth, lift the right leg up to the sky, standing splits, and then drop that right foot back, turn into warrior two, soften through the shoulders, straighten up left leg and fold to trikonasana, looking up to your right hand. Rebend the left knee to warrior, Straighten the leg, pigeon toe the feet, hands to the hips, and fold the head down to the mat. Keeping the legs straight as you rise, walk your hands down. Maybe you can go a little further, everyone. Good. Let's lift back up all together. Face the back of your mat and step straight back to a downward facing dog. We're going to turn the heels in now and start to lift your left leg up to the sky. Then you may wish to walk your right hand to the middle of the mat. Maybe you can lift the hand and grab hold of the heel. This is a beautiful downward facing dog balance that stretches your hamstrings and utilizes the core as well. Hands down. Just step back to down dog. Take a couple of breaths here to realign. Left foot forwards, come into warrior two. Straighten up the front leg, reach forwards, fall into your triangle pose. Rebend into the left knee to warrior. Let's straighten up. Pigeon toe the feet, face the sides, and draw the head down to the mat. On the inhale breath, we're going to lift up, and then walk your hands down towards the direction of the heels. Fold forwards. Lift up on the inhale breath. Let's transfer to the front of the mat. Take a vinyasa or just step back into downward facing dog. Of course, if you need to take a child's pose, take it any time you need throughout the practice. Good. So this is an express vinyasa flow, so we're moving quite swiftly here. So it's normal for the body to feel a little tight. Good. Make your way to the front of the mat now. Lift your chest and fold. Arms up on the inhale. And bring the hands to the center of the chest. 
come and sit down everyone spread your legs wide bring your right hand down to the knee the shin or the side of the foot and take a big sweep with your left arm across maybe your left hand can grab hold of the foot in which case wrap the right arm around the belly reach for the hips Keep flexing both your toes, so point them up to the sky to really start to feel length through your hamstrings. Let's move to the other side. Left hand down, grab hold of wherever you can reach. If you're going for that bind, make sure that you don't cave the chest inwards, rather keep leaning the shoulder back so you're rotating the chest upwards. Think of it as external rotation here. Good. Now come back to the center. Take a breath. Place your hands in front of you. Maybe you're able to lower down onto your forearms. Maybe you can place little bolsters underneath your forearms as well or if you can take your two piece fingers grab hold of your big toes and just lower the chest and the chin so this may seem really out of reach for most of us but I was never there I was the person with my hands on the floor rounding my back so I promise you with practice all is coming just make sure you always lower your belly down first, followed by your chest, and then finally the eyes. Break the pose, rise up. Now bring the soles of your feet together, let your knees melt to the edges of the mat. Bring your hands behind your back and just lift the chest up here. Expose your throat, expose the heart. You may stay here or you can bring the hands to grab hold of the feet and fold the head down towards your big toes. Let's lift up now and come to lie on your back everyone. I'm going to end with a nice spinal twist hugging your left knee in. Draw the left knee across to the right and reach across, send the gaze to your left hand. Just enjoy this beautiful spinal twist. So relaxing and so rewarding to do at the end of your practice, I find. Come back, let's move across to the other side. Draw the knee across to the left and send the gaze to the right. Slowing down the breath. And to return back to neutral, separate your feet mat width apart palms facing upwards. Let's take a deep breath in. Open the mouth, sigh it out. Stay in Shavasana.
soon as you start to feel ready, bring some gentle movements back to your fingers and the toes, rotating the wrist, and give yourself a big juicy stretch, reach the arms back. Come to lie on the right side for a moment here. No need to rush, just take your time. And then gently pick the body back up to a comfortable seat, keeping the eyes closed as much as you can, just to keep that gaze inwards for a few more moments. Check in with the body and notice how it's feeling post-practice. Let's take the time now to dedicate our practice as we draw the hands to the heart. We offer the fruits of our journey together today towards the happiness of all living beings as well as ourselves. Hands up to the third eye and we bow down to Mother Earth. Namaste. Hi yogis, thank you so much for joining us in today's practice. We hope that you have enjoyed the practice with us. Do subscribe to my YouTube channel for weekly yoga classes delivered directly to your inbox. In the meantime, keep a happy mind and a happy heart. Namaste.